With M particles, you will basically be able to make particles collide with each other, respecting each other's shape, and even make the, those particles collide with objects in the scene. So let's press 6 to open the particle view. And the most simple way to create a M particle system is with this preset here, M particle flow. So you just drag and drop it here. And if you scroll your timeline, you will see that you have a lot of particles here. It's falling and it's colliding with each other properly. Um, in order to, to show you how it works, I will delete uh, the MP word and the MP shape here. Uh, that's uh, the M particles only works with both of them here. Both of them are really important. So I'll delete it. Have a look there. It's not uh, working as in particles anymore. It's just spinning because of this spin. I'll delete it. And now it's like this. I will increase this grid size to 30 and I will decrease, increase those particle size to something like 29. Now we have only four particles here and it will be easier to show what, what happens. As I said, the M particles need a MP word and an MP shape to work. So first let's add a MP word below everything here. And the MP word needs a driver. When I created that preset, it already created a driver here. That's an MP word driver. I will delete this one. The fastest way to create a driver is cre clicking here, create new driver, and it will create a new driver in the scene. And if you want to select it, you can just click on this access driver parameters here. It will select your driver and go to the to its modify panel. Here on the driver, you can apply a gravity and a ground collision plane, which will create a, a ground here and the particles will collide there. There's a bunch of other options, but I'm not sure this right now. And as you can see, if you scroll the timeline, it's not working yet because you need an MP shape. The MP shape must be on top of the MP word. All these MP operators must be on top of the MP word. You also have some MP tests here, and it must be below the MP word, otherwise it doesn't work. Now that, you, that we add the MP shape here, if you scroll the timeline, all the particles are colliding properly. But that's because we have on the MP shape, we have it set to box and we're using a cube, so it matches. And the, the MP shape, it's just the collision shape. You can see it here but that's how it makes the particle collide. Let's say we have, instead of a cube, we have a, pi, we have a pyramid. This pyramid right now, it's colliding as a box. So if you scroll the timeline, you'll see that's not colliding properly. And you can see your collision shape here if you change the display as to shaded or wireframe. So let's change it to shaded. And that's the collision shape and that's how the particles are colliding. So you, if you have a, another options here, if you're working with spheres, you should probably work at, with a sphere here because it will collide much faster. But if, if your shape don't fit here, you just use the convex hull. The convex hull will get the shape, uh, a very close to the shape of your particles. And now it will collide properly. And then if you switch the display as to none, it was supposed to get back to its original color on Max 15, it's not working, but you can just switch on and off your system and it will get to its original color. Okay, now let's say that we have something, some speed here on our system, like a uh, find target. I'll add the find target here on top of the MP stuff and I'll switch it off the MP, the MP stuff. Now the find target will make the particles find this icon here. It will go to the direction of this icon. And if you have a look here, it's going there. Uh, and, but if you look closer, uh, it's not colliding properly. All the particles are intersecting each other. So let's switch on the MP stuff to make the particles collide with each other. But now if you scroll the timeline, all your particles are falling. Why is that? Because the MP word, the MP stuff, it have its own uh, velocity and everything. But you can use the system's velocity, the one you add here, just adding an MP switch. With the MP switch, you will be able to make the M particles ignore its own, its own speed or position or rotation and obey to the system's speed. In this case, I want to use only the speed, so I will check the speed here. Now, if you scroll the timeline, you see that the particles are colliding properly with each other, as you can see here, and it's obeying the system's speed, the standard speed. Now, let's say that we have an object here on the middle of its way, 
and we want the particles to collide with them. So right now it's not colliding. In order to make it collide, you just have to add a MP collision. As I said, all those tests must be below the MP word. So I'll put it here and you can add a deflector here. This cylinder is not a deflector right now. As you can see, it's not here. In order to make it a uh, deflector, you just go to its modify panel and add in P flow collision shape. So word space modifier, and you have to click on activate. Now it is a modifier. It's very important to click on this button here. And it's here. Now, if you scroll the timeline, your particles will collide with it properly and it will keep finding the target. Basically, that's how the particles work. And if you have any questions, any doubts, or even any suggestions, please let me know. And also, please like this video and follow us on Vimeo or subscribe to our YouTube account because this way you really, really support us. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.